Section 5.6 is on page 224. Series solution near a singular point, part 2. So given this equation again, they like to write it like that. And again, if you look at it, it really looks like x. It really looks like y double prime plus x squared p of x y prime plus x squared q of x y equal to zero. So here the difference is they're taking this x out. If you leave it like this, then you could read what p of x is and q of x, or it's even better this way, I think, but just saying. Where x times p is the series p sub n, there's p, and x squared times q would be the series, again, q of x is right there. That's pretty much what this theorem will allow you to have, and both series converge as long as absolute value of x is less than rho, or x is between positive and negative rho, this rho is positive, the point x equals 0 is a regular singular point, and the corresponding Euler equation is right there. Now, I could, of course, look at this, and it looks like this. y double prime plus p of x y prime plus q of x y equal to 0. This is our traditional solution. But here, they're going to give us the answer to this. And let me elaborate really quick. So if I take if I take if I let y so we're talking about this equation. If I let y equal some phi of r and x that would be x to the r times the series n equals 0 to infinity a sub n x to the n, which is the series n equals 0 to infinity a sub n. If I multiply those two, that's x raised to the n plus r, where a sub 0 does not equal to 0. That's the initial value that you plug in. The characteristic equation. The characteristic equation is given by r into r minus 1 plus p sub 0 r plus q sub 0 equal 0. Keep in mind y equal x to the r, like we did before. The solution to this, the solution, both solutions are of the form y1 will equal x to the r sub 1 into 1 plus the series n equal 1 to infinity a sub n x r sub 1 x to the n x is positive and y sub 2 is going to equal x to the r sub 2 into 1 plus the series n equals 0 to infinity a sub n r sub 2 x to the n so pretty much you get the solution and if you look at theorem 5.6.1, this really summarizes summarize the steps. I'll how to do this. So here, we're no longer deriving, we just need to figure out this equation and solve it. And to read, figure out what p sub 0 is, you have to really write the equation in that form. 
So, not much to do here. In 1 through 8, same deal. This would be find all the regular singular points of the given differential equation. We know how to do that. B determine the indicated equation and the exponents at the regular, at the singularity for each singular point. Well, if I start with y double prime minus 2 plus x over x y prime plus 2 plus x squared over x squared y that would equal 0. So here this is really what we're looking at. We're looking at a if I want to take the limit as x approaches 0 because that's the only singular point we have of x times negative 2 minus x over x it's right there those cancel out you throw the 0 in you'll get a negative 2 you call that p sub 0 pretty cool and if you take the limit as x approaches 0 of x squared times 2 plus x squared over x squared that is also a 2 that is q sub 0 so we know this is a regular point and once I do that, I go to part B, and in part B, it is just a copy of this, r into r minus 1. We know that p sub 0 is a negative 2 times r, plus q sub 0, which is a 2 equals 0. Pretty much, you save yourself all the pain of solving, like we did in the previous section, but this is a very special equation. That would mean that r minus 2 into r minus 1 equals 0, and r would equal 2 r1. And that's all they want. This is added. I'm adding now. If you wanted the solutions, it's right there. You could say y1 is x to the r sub 1 into 1 plus the series n equal 1 to infinity of a sub n times 2 x squared, uh, x to the n, I'm sorry. And y sub 2 as a series, that's x to the 1 into 1 plus the series n equal 1 to infinity, a sub n times 1 x sub n. And that pretty much gives you the solutions, and that's all there is to this section. And you're going to work those out. 1 to 7 odd, page 229. Did I give you a page on this? I get excited sometimes and I forget about the page. Yep, I did forget. So this is on page 229. Alright, and there's the homework.